good morning students myself major komal katyal department of zoology gk gowani government college binmal today we will discuss about the classification of vertebrates and in the vertebrate first of all we will consider the detail about super class pcg jo kasherukh hai कशेरुक के अंदर आज हम सबसे पहले बात करेंगे अधिवर्ग मीन के बारे में दे आर एक्वेटिक मरीन और फ्रेश वाटर हार्बिवोरस और कार्निवोरस कोल ब्लाडेड दैट इज द एक्ट्रोथर्मिक ओविपेरस और ओवोवीवी पैरस वर्टिब्रेड्स Now, what are vertebrates? Vertebrates are those animals in which the notochord is partially or fully replaced by a vertebral column. They are a type of chordate. Now, whenever we discuss about the fishes which belongs to super class species, as we know, all the fishes are aquatic. It means. they are found in the water bodies the water body may be of salt water or of fresh water kehne ka matlab ye hai ki machhliyan keval jal ke andar pai jati hain chahe wo swachh jal ho ya samudri jal ho ya khara jal shakahari bhi hoti hain masahari bhi hoti hain aur ectothermic hai matlab unke sharir ka tapman में कोई ऐसा तंत्र नहीं पाया जाता जिससे वो उसके तापमान को एक निश्चित तापमान बना के रख सके अंड प्रजक भी होती हैं और कुछ ऐसी हैं जो विकसित अंडा अंडा रुज बोलते हैं जिसको मतलब जरायुज नहीं होती वो ना अंडज होती है देर बॉडी इज स्ट्रीम लाइंड स्पिंडल शेप्ड and differentiated into head trunk and tail sharir jo hai wo sheesh ya sir dhad aur pooch mein vibhakt rehta hai griva ya gardan ka abhav hota hai so neck is the absent they are characterized by typical locomotion which is carried by paired pectoral and pelvic fins along with the median unpaired dorsal anal and caudal fins which are supported by true dermal fin rays the muscular tail is generally used for propulsion when we discuss about the vertebrates we divide them into two the anathans and the nathostomes the anathans are those animals in which jaws as well as paired appendages are totally absent so fishes comes under the division nathostomata in the nathostomata the paired appendages are present and whenever we talk about the fishes the paired appendages it means one pair of appendage on the pectoral girdle and the other pair of appendage on the pelvic girdle kehne ka matlab ye hai ki ek jodi jo hote hain jo gamnang hai wo ansh mein khla pe और दूसरी जोड़ी श्रोणी में एकना पे पाए जाते अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट द अनपेयर्ड मीडियम फिंस आर आल्सो प्रेजेंट इफ दे आर ऑन द डॉर्सल साइड दे आर नोन एज डॉर्सल फिन दे मे बी वन और टू इफ दे आर प्रेजेंट नियर द एनस ऑन द वेंट्रल साइड इट इज नोन एज वेंट्रल फिन और एनल फिन एंड इफ इट इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द टेल दे आर नोन एज टेल फिन और कॉडल फिन all these fins are supported by dermal fin rays and the muscular tail is generally used for propulsion in the case of fishes the integument contains mucus glands and chromatophores which gives variety of colors to the fishes this is the common example of a dog fish which is most popular shark we generally study in the graduation classes the exoskeleton is of dermal scales 
denticles or bony plates covering the body surface. Endoskeleton is cartilaginous or bony. Jaws are hinged and notochord more or less replaced by a true vertebrae. जो बाह्य कंकाल है उसमें चर्मीय शल्क होते हैं या अस्थिल प्लेट पाई जाती हैं अंतर कंकाल उपास्थिल हो सकता है या अस्थिल हो सकता है और जो जबड़े हैं वो हिंज के समान होते हैं वास्तविक जबड़े होते हैं और जो नोटोकॉर्ड है मतलब जो प्रष्ट रज्जु है उसकी जगह इनमें कशे रूप दंड पाया जाता है As far as the visceral skeleton is concerned, the skeleton of pharyngeal wall associated with gills is well developed. The muscles are arranged into segments called myotomes with separate dorsal and ventral parts. The organ of respiration are gills throughout their life, but accessory respiratory organ may also be present, as you can see in the case of certain. Fishes like the catfishes, Sacobranchus or Heteropneustis. This slide shows the typical caudal fin structure: the heterocircle, which is present in the shark; the homocircle, which is present in the perch; and the diphyse circle, which is present in the lung fishes. You can see there are two lobe. One the apicordal lobe and one is the hypocordal lobe. Basically, there are two lobes: the dorsal and the ventral lobe. And when the ventral lobe is absent, only the dorsal lobe has the apicordal region. The vertebrae are also there, as you can see. It is known as heterocircle. And in some cases, as in the homocircle. there is totally absence of the tail vertebrae the dorsal lobe is absent and the ventral lobe divides into two the upper and the lower lobe and if such type of lobes are absent instead of this there is continuation of the dorsal or ventral fin along the caudal fin it is known as the diphyse circle which is present in the lung fishes as you know we have discussed about the diphyse cycle caudal fin in the case of cyclostomes also these are the typically different types of scales present in the fishes the one that is the placoid scale which is embedded and present only in the cartilaginous fishes like the dogfish squalidon and other sharks the ganoid scale which is present in the non teleostic bony fish then the cycloid scale which is present in the most teleost fish and the tenoid scale which is present in also certain teleost fish the gill slits are 5 to 7 pairs they are naked or covered by an operculum or the gill cover as in the case of bony fishes which comes under the class osteichthyes the alimentary canal is with definite stomach and pancreas and it terminates either into cloaca or anus cloaca is generally present in the sharks anus in the case of bony fishes there is a well developed lateral line system and these lateral line organs are sensitive to the water currents and they changes in the pressure and vibration helps in the eco location of the fish especially during the swimming जो पार्श्व संवेदी अंग हैं वो दबाव और जो संवेदी तरंगे हैं उसके द्वारा मछलियों को जो गमन के दौरान जो लोकेशन है उसको डिटरमाइन करने में सहायता प्रदान करते हैं देर हार्ट इज टू चैम्बर्ड विद वन ऑरिकल वन वेंट्रिकल देर इज अ साइनस विनोसस फॉर द कलेक्शन ऑफ वीनस ब्लड इन द केस ऑफ फिशेज द हार्ट is responsible only for collection of the blood and then sending it to the gills for oxygenation and then gills are responsible for distributing the oxygenated blood itself so the heart has 
no role in distribution of blood it only collects the deoxygenated or the venous blood and hence the heart of the fish is known as the venous heart jo machli ka hriday hai usko hum shri hriday kehte hain kyunki wo keval rudhir ke sangran ka kaam karta hai usme oxygen ki kam matra wala ya oxygen rahit rudhir aata hai jo श्वसनांग गिल की तरफ चला जाता है जहाँ पर उसमें ऑक्सीजन की मात्रा बढ़ती है और वहीं से फिर ये शरीर के दूसरे अंगों में वितरित कर दिया जाता है द इरिथ्रोसाइट्स आर न्यूक्लिएटेड मतलब केंद्रक युक्त इनमें लाल रक्त कणिकाएं होती हैं द किडनीज आर मीसोनेफ्रिक एन एक्सक्रीशन इज यूरियोटैलिक दिस इज द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ a bony fish you can see the typical structure with the olfactory bulb the afferent and efferent artery the large sized eye the bulbous arteriosus ventricle and auricles are there there is presence of a typical opisthonephros kidney the swim bladder is present in the bony fishes which is absent in the shark the presence of first and second dorsal fin the anal fin on the ventral side and the presence of the pelvic and the pectoral fin and the quarter fin these are the basic structures which are visible in this slide their cerebrum is primarily an olfactory center responsible for acting as a chemoreceptor the number of cranial nerves are 10 pairs internal ear is present only middle ear and external ear are totally absent in fishes the internal ear has three semicircular canals The sexes are separate gonads usually paired with true gonads which open into the cloaca jo janand hai unme janand vahini payi jati hai aur wo avas kar ke andar samanyata khulte hain fertilization internal in the case of cartilaginous fishes because there is presence of clasper in the male which is present near the pelvic fins external in the case of bony fishes so they may be oviparous or ovoviviparous the eggs are large and yolky while development is usually direct jo parivardan hai wo pratyaksh hota hai larva avastha nahi payi jati this is how the evolution of jaws has taken place in the nethostomes the anterior gill arches are gradually started modifying and after their modification as you can see in the fourth diagram there is formation of a hinged jaw and instead of seven or eight gill slits only four or five gill slits are present so this is how the evolution of jaws has taken place ye diagram ya slide ye bata rahi hai कि किस तरह से जबड़ों का उद्विकास हुआ जो कि जैसा मैंने आपको पहले बताया कि जो कशेरुक है उनको विभाजित करते हैं दो में एक जबड़े रहित जिनको एनेथंस बोलते हैं जिसमें साइक्लोस्टोमेटा और ऑस्ट्रेकोडर्म आते हैं और दूसरा नेथोस्टोमेटा जिसके अंदर जबड़े और पेयर्ड अपेंडेजेस या पेयर्ड लिम्स या फिंस पाए जाते हैं so this finishes the first part of my lecture on super class pcs thank you